A grand jury says the death of Donald Ivey after a police encounter was not the result of any criminal actions by the officers. Ivey was walking between his home and a nearby convenience store on April 2nd. Police say the officers decided that he looked suspicious and asked his permission to pat him down to make sure that he wasn't armed. That's when police say things got more physical. One officer fired his taser and Ivey later died. Craig Smith is standing by with more. And Craig, this was... Uh, quite a development today. No question, Liz. After the district attorney's announcement, there was reaction from the police chief, from the mayor, and a family friend. He was 39, a man with mental illness and a heart condition, walking a few blocks from Arbor Hill Park around midnight. The DA made public 15 pages detailing what his office dug up for the grand jury. A family friend says they want more. We don't believe that that's the end of the story. We don't believe that that's where it should stop. District Attorney David Source said his office worked hard to get every shred of evidence. The only witnesses were police officers, including one who noticed Ivy and said he thought Ivy was hiding something. Source portrayed Albany as a city where young black men cannot walk in public late at night without encountering police, and he wonders why. The question is a simple one to ask. The answers are, however, much more complicated. Because in a city where you have four shootings in one weekend, um, you also have to consider what it is that we're placing upon our men and women who wear the uniform. The police chief says the officers involved were assigned to get guns off the street, suggesting they would have necessarily been looking for signs of trouble. He says Ivy allowed an officer to pat him down, but then got physical, prompting that officer to fire his taser, which sent Ivy running. Police caught him about 100 yards away. A few minutes later, he was shackled and unresponsive. They were well within our policies. They were well within the rights that they have as police officers within the state of New York. They did not violate any policies. They did not violate any laws. They did what we expect our police officers to do. Mayor Kathy Sheehan agrees with the DA. Police body cameras would be helpful in this case. She says she's working on grant money to pay for them. She urges police and civilians to resist categorizing and building walls around each other. We are committed to working to take those walls down and build that level of trust that we need to keep our community and our officers safe. The DA says according to the person who conducted the autopsy, Ivy died from a heart attack, not from the taser. Mr. Soros said he believes his investigation did piece together the important events of that night, but he says he understands questions will linger. Greg?